Today, we're going to check in with our past customer, Josh Turner. We worked with him in designing a tiki bar that offers food and drinks right along the beach. In this video, we'll see firsthand the advantages and obstacles in running a business out of a shipping container. A little bit about me and my business is I operate JT's Beach Bar and Tiki Bar here at Blackstrap Provincial Park. We're about 25 minutes from Saskatoon. We're located right on the main beach and we offer a full concession and we also offer a new tiki bar with great tiki cocktails, beers and other foods. Some of the best selling products are signature cocktails that were developed by LB Distilleries. So we have our Tiki God, which is our famous one. JT's Lemonade is another great one. And if you tried any of our margaritas, they're probably the best that you'll find around. So I decided on a shipping container for my Tiki Bar business because they're secure. They look a lot different. There's so many modifications that you can do with them. And throughout my travels in Europe, I found that a lot of restaurants were using them out there. And so I wanted to adopt that and bring it back here to Saskatchewan. We leave our container bar here over the winter and that's why we wanted to make something that was really secure and could stand up to the elements. And that's why we did go with the DC containers. We had the vision and we reached out to container guys. We were able to take our vision of what we had, the drawing that we had, and take it right into exactly as you see here of this reality. How's business? Business has been fantastic. Uh, this edition, we couldn't keep up last year with the place that we had, and so we needed to make some changes. And when I came to you, we had that vision and what we wanted to do. Also with being able to have that addition of being a fully licensed restaurant, which is very rare with inside of Sass Park, directly on the beach. Um, I don't know how many places have it, but I know we're one of the few that are able to offer that to campers. So business has been absolutely phenomenal. People have been loving the, the idea, just the whole look of it. The fact that it's a sea container bar, I think it really helps build that brand. My process to design the original was, I uh, guess just through drawings on, on my own, like kind of putting some things on paper. I would reached out to someone on Fiverr that could do some 3D renderings for me at the time to try to put some things into motion, um, get that going for when we proposed that to the park. All that was accepted, but there was a reality portion of it that we didn't quite have without coming to you. What we looked at of, of the vision and then going to you and your engineering team and what would work was the right thing to do. For somebody who wants to start out with a, a restaurant or bar um, out of a shipping container, I think they need to know what they want to provide. Do you just want to provide food? Do you want to provide just drinks? Do you want to provide just ice cream for people? Space is limited inside of a sea container, so you really need to be focused on what you want and what is going to work for you. When I first had the idea and presented it to the parks, they weren't maybe 100% sold on the, the sea container look uh, within their park. But once I talked to them a little bit about the security of it and what it offers me, that's 100% why I went with it. I mean, we've got big, strong doors. I can lock this place down very, very well. I'm, I'm very happy with it, very confident that it's safe at night. For us, for next year, what we want to do is we want to extend on another sea container, a 40-foot sea container. I still am very happy that you brought this up of that idea that you had with doing the rooftop patio. So we wanted to do the rooftop patio. I showed you those in the renderings when I first had them. And then with your idea about doing another sea container above that, I never even knew that that existed. So being able to come and talk to you and, and, and learn about that and have your team draw those up, I'm looking forward to next year. We're gonna really blow this thing up. Thanks for letting me come back here. It's pretty sweet what you've done with this roll up door here. You uh, built a bar out in front. I don't know if anyone's ever thought of that, but the door still allows you to close up at night and yep. keep this place nice and secure. Show me these kiosk windows. I want some uh, positive or negative feedback because we're updating the design right now. Yeah, these are one of the greatest things that you installed. Um, what I really like about them here is that they're really easy to close up. And then when we start and we open up, our staff can come in and just open those up like that. The hardware inside here allows it to be really secure and we can put our locks and stuff on there. So even at night, we're really confident. What I love that you guys did was create this other one here as well. 
Uh, so we've got double the space. It just looks fantastic when you open up and look at your view. We needed to have these. I'm glad that you suggested these and they've turned out absolutely amazing. And it makes for a perfect bar top, you know, like yeah. it's the perfect height for people to sit at, provides a little bit of shelter for people and everybody really loves them. So it, yeah. it was a great addition for a bar. One of the big things too that you've added on is this back part here. Now I'd, I'd like you to talk a little bit more about the strut system because that's your guys' innovations, but just the look of it itself, I had seen that from one of your patios that you had had at, at the yard, and I couldn't live without it. So thank you for making this happen, and just don't even know how you guys did that. Yeah, our CSM brackets that are meant just for installing Unistrut inside containers to allow for conduit and electrical to be run. We just figured, hey, like slat wall, the dark wood stain, it looks awesome. It's a nice decorative feature, you know, to make the vertical corrugations a bit prettier with some horizontal slat architecture. So you're bringing an industrial container and, and modification components and mixing it together with all this sweet palm trees and whatever else you got going on and it really fits this works so well you know you you, you touched on it a little bit with the parks and um, I, I think the parks are, are starting to get a little bit more um, looking at doing a little bit more forward thinking about yeah. stuff so for them to do this with us I think they were used to do things a little bit normal before but now they're yeah. really looking at things what's going to attract people to come out to parks so they're they're doing things like this they're giving people like myself permission helping to work with us to kind of think outside the box a little bit more yeah if they're more forward thinking and, and not restricting progress then they're not restricting fun right yeah. so the more they can allow things like this the more people are going to enjoy places like this it seems shipping containers are great for setting up a shop like this on the side of the road, in a park, or on the beach. It's nice how you can move them from place to place and they won't disrupt the land or landscape like a permanent structure would. I know I can't wait to come back here with friends and family. It's sweet to have amenities like this, to grab lunch and have a cocktail in a licensed facility and not worry about packing. So there you have it. We'd like to thank the team at JT's Tiki Bar for allowing us to come for lunch and uh, get a tour of this sweet container tiki bar. Uh, we're excited for the next stages of the project. It's a nice little break for our engineering team to work on cool projects like this. If you'd like to follow along, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications or check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.